In this example, I'm going to show you how to use a one-sample t-test for hypothesis testing in Sigma Excel. The example I'm going to show you is taken from the Sigma Excel workbook. Now, for this example, we're using the customer data workbook, and you can find this workbook in the sample data folder in your Sigma Excel installation directory. So once you have the data set open, make sure you click on the Sigma Excel tab, and you're going to click on the Statistical Tools button, and you're going to click on One Sample T-Test and Confidence Intervals. Now, if it's not already, make sure your entire data table is selected and click Next. Now, historically, our average customer satisfaction score has been 3.5, and now we'd like to see if this has changed with the results grouped by customer type. So, select Stacked Column Format. For your numeric data variable Y, select Overall Satisfaction. And for your optional group category, select Customer Type. Now set your null hypothesis to be a mean of equal to 3.5, and set your alternative hypothesis to be a mean of not equal to 3.5. Leave the confidence interval at 95%, and click OK. Now you'll see the results of the one sample t-test are produced, and pay particular attention to customer type 2. You'll see the estimated mean of 4.2 is uh, quite a bit different than the null hypothesis of 3.5, and if we look at its p-value here, we can tell that that difference is also statistically significant. Now to visualize our confidence intervals, we can also take a look at a multivary chart, which is displayed here. Now you can see that the confidence intervals for customer types 1 and 3 both overlap somewhat, and this isn't the case for customer type 2. Uh, as well, if I were to draw a line through our null hypothesis value of 3.5, you would see that it passes through the confidence intervals of both customer types 1 and 3, but not through customer type 2.